everyone, it's Melody Lane here, and today I'm going to show you how to cut pictures out of any shape on your Cricut Explorer. It's awesome, and there's just a few steps you have to follow in order to do it, so I'm going to show you how. Look, this is my niece and nephew. They just went to SeaWorld last week on vacation. And look, I took their picture off Facebook and cut it out in the shape of a whale. Now, on a scrapbook page, you could put a whale of a time. Isn't that fun? I might have to start scrapbooking. I'm going to show you in Design Space how to make a picture any shape. And I'm also going to thank Linda Willis and Dara for showing me. She showed me in a Facebook group how to do this. Well, she showed everybody, but I asked her if I could make a video on it. She said, yes, please make a video. So I'm going to give her credit for this because she taught it to me. Okay, we're going to go to upload image. This is where you go anytime you want to upload a picture from the internet or from your computer. And I already have this one uploaded. It's just a picture. So to do that, you would click on upload image and then you'd browse through your computer of where it your you store your pictures. And I click the little green thing, make sure it's done here. Sometimes I click it and I think it's there and it's not. So anything you see here will be inserted. After you click insert image, let's make this a little bigger, just dragging the corner of it. Okay, now let's go to insert images. We're gonna go to image sets, go to craft to find craft room basics. Here it is. All of these images are totally free. This is where I go just to usually get my basic shapes. You could use any of those shapes to cut out for your whale or whatever shape you want. And I'm going to ungroup this and delete this. It's just not needed. And we're going to go to insert images again. I could have done this all at the same time. We're going to go to all images and we're going to type in whale. And look, there's 42 images of whales. Let's see if I can find the one I had. I think it was this one. Okay, we're going to go to insert images. And we don't need all these extra pieces. We're going to ungroup this. This one is the only one we need, so let's delete that one and this one. And then I'm going to turn it around the other way. We're going to click on the edit to get the edit panel to come up, and we're going to mirror it sideways. Oops, don't have it selected. Got to have it selected or it won't work. Okay, let's send this to the back, just get out of our way. Now we have to make the whale big enough to hold the children. It's going to look like they've been eaten by a whale. Okay, let's bring this forward. For now, I'm going to hide the picture. This We can just put this anywhere, and we're going to select this. I'm going to hit the Control key on a Mac. On a PC, it's the Command key. So we select them both. So make sure over here that both this and this are selected. And then click Slice. Okay, now we can pull this out of the way. You can save that and use it for something else if you want. Whoops, I'm going to get rid of it here. And I'm going to bring the picture back. So here are the kids in the whale. And I think I'm going to put it like right about here. So this is where it will be cut out. But not yet. Okay, we have to... I'm just going to go up. We have to... We have the whale selected. Hit Command or Control. Select the other picture. So they're both selected here. And we're going to click Attach. Now... Over here, it says this is going to print. That's great. That's what we want. But here, it says this is going to print. We don't want to print this. We want to cut this. So we're going to click the little printer icon and change it to cut. 
and now you see the black line around it. It might be hard to see, but right here you can see the black line. And it's going to cut out. That's all you have to do. That's how I cut it out. Let's hit go. Oh, I made it too big. Let's just make it smaller. It has to be small enough to print. But Cricut is going to be updating. You will be able to print out 12 by 12. I did cut out mine a little bit bigger than this. And it worked great. So that's all you have to do, guys. Follow those steps. So here's what we did. Let me go over that again. All you really have to do is find an image, only one layer. You can delete the other layers like I did, so you only have... The background does not matter what color it is whatsoever. So highlight that, highlight this, slice it, move that out of the way, and then move this where you want it, and attach this to the picture. And then change the printer icon over here to cut. So I hope that didn't confuse you. Watch it again if you need some more help. Okay, so here is how it cut out. Doesn't look any different, does it? But let me show you. Okay, I'm doing this trying to hold the camera. Not done yet. And this comes off. And then this. How cute is that? And then there's also a little eye right in here. There it is. How cute is that to have pictures in any shape you want? And you can just use it as the whale, or you can also use the water spouting out of its head. That is so cute. I'm so excited. I just might have to start scrapbooking. Thanks for watching, everyone. And here's a shout out to some of my Patreons. Melinda Strange, Antonio J, Cindy Doop, Nancy Potke, Donna Vacar, Jim Eber, BB Leak, Lynette Gregory, Marquis Cornelis, Terry Carnine, Veronica Cano Campos, Grace Kearns, Leticia Brandt. Diane Marsh, Catherine Martinez, and Margie Roy. Thank you all so much for supporting me on Patreon.com.